Hello everyone. This research is about a bandwidth extension technique for air coupled PMAT based on nonlinear effect. And in this report, I will present according to the following order. Research background, theoretical modeling, experimental verification, and the final conclusion. And first is the ba research background. Ultrasound is a kind of mechanical vibration whose frequency ranges from 20 kHz to several gigahertz. It can only propagate through medium, including gas, liquid, and solid. Ultrasonic transducer is playing significant roles in the application from industrial non-destructive testing, medical imaging, to consumer electronics, which consists in the front end of Internet of Things. Recent years, with the booming of consumer electronics, the application of airborne ultrasonic transducer raised more attentions such as gesture sensing, range finder, and haptic feedback. Compared to the other sensing methods, such as optic sensing, the acoustic module has the following advantages, which are more compact structures, more robust, is able to work in harsh environments, more power saving, and its power consumption is only around one thousand of the similar optic device. And the phase array method can also make it more flexible in beam theory. However, PMAS working in air coupled working condition usually show a very small bandwidth, ranging from 1% to 5% in fractional bandwidth. In order to extend the bandwidth of PMOS, various methods had been tried. For example, a PMOD integrated with a Helmholtz resonant cavity at the backside of each cell, which achieved a fractional bandwidth around 10%. An array design with various diaphragm radians to overlap the bandwidth of each cell. And a multi mode merging technologies utilizing the multi-vibration mode of the diver. However, because the Q factor of each cell is too high in air coupled working condition, so it is still hard to extend the bandwidth of the air coupled PMAT by the later two methods. And in this research, we present a nonlinear excitation method to extend PMAT's bandwidth in air coupled condition. The theoretical modeling of the nonlinear system can give a brief introduction of the working mechanism of the bandwidth extension method. In lumped element model, the vibration diaphragm of each cell can be simplified as a mass spring damping system. When in small vibration mode, the parameters like sine theta will usually be approximately to theta. However, when the deflation of the diaphragm become larger and the higher order terms in the series caused by the geometric nonlinearity cannot be neglected. So the expression of the restoring force will become like this series. Because the deflation of the diaphragm is still not large enough to show the third item, here we only consider the cubic item. The behavior of a clamped circular diaphragm is very like a double clamp string, and its governing equation can be presented below. And the governing equation will be non dimensionalized to give a more compact understanding of the nonlinear system. Based on the harmonic balanced method, Frequency and the excitation response of the displacement amplitude of the nonlinear system can be derived. In the case that there are three state solutions with different displacement and amplitudes of the diaphragm within the hysteresis loop. Two are stable with solid lines and one is unstable. Illustrated in dashed line, 
which can never be realized in real world. And as you can see, the frequency response before the energy saturation point can largely extend the bandwidth of the PMAT. According to the experimental results, the two steady states are closely related to the input energy of the system. And the nonlinearity of the cell is first calibrated mechanically. A laser vibrometer is used to calibrate the frequency response of its vibration velocity. And in this experiment, 15 volts DC bias is applied on the chip, and a chip signal with different AC amplitude is applied. With the optimized electrode design, the fractional bandwidth of the first and second vibration mode are tested. When the AC signal up to three volts, the fractional bandwidth for the first and the second vibration mode can achieve the value of 24% and 7.4%, which increased by 12.8 and 8.5 times larger than its performance in linear working condition. In the end, the acoustic performance of the first vibration mode of the proposed PMAT cell was calibrated by a microphone. And in this test, the, frequent, the inference from the excitation voltage and burst period T0 to the air coupled bandwidth of the chip were analyzed. As shown in the right picture, the chip excited by the burst with a longer period and the large excitation voltage can achieve a larger fractional bandwidth, up to 28.5%. This indicates that the higher input power is preferred to ensure the nonlinearity working condition of the PMAT chip in pulse echo mode. And finally is the conclusion part. In this research, we first theoretically established the relationship between the geo nonlinearity and the bandwidth extension. And the bandwidth extension performance is tested in both mechanical and acoustic calibration method and, ach and achieve a fractional bandwidth up to 28% in air coupled working condition. And this kind of air coupled PMAT with large fractional bandwidth has a wide application in the air coupled range finder, gas flow meter, and etc. And in the following work, we will put more emphasis to optimize the structural design to lower its threshold to the nonlinear working condition and further extend its bandwidth. And that's all about this presentation and thanks for your attention.